Hi, everybody, and um, welcome to our master class. I'm Dr. Barbara Sturm. You probably all mean I know um, my background. I say it like, very quickly because it matters for this one. It's about sun, um, sun protection and pollution protection. And I'm an um, anti inflammatory doctor. I'm coming from the orthopedics. I have pioneering a treatment to take down. Um, inflammation in joints by taking body on proteins from your blood and reinjecting into the joints and with this process we took down inflammation therefore also um, slowing down the aging process so inflammation aging goes very close together and um, when i started um, the skincare line and um, treating skin i was um, so into taking down inflammation in our skin that I was always paying attention where does inflammation come from and inflammation comes from ingredients in our skincare routines often there are ingredients in our products we don't even know that they cause inflammation but you know even if your skin burns or gets red or irritated that's a sign of inflammation it's really important to take out all ingredients of skincare and treatments which can cause inflammation um, often we Think, you know oh, if it just hurts and burns um, it's so effective and more active so that's good it's not it's really a sign of inflammation so inflammation we need to get rid of and there's like sun obviously is a big cause of inflammation sun we know and when I created the sun drops um, I was you know I never wanted SPF to be sitting in my creams and in my products because it's chemical it's not the best ingredient um, but it's like necessary to protect ourselves from the sun. Um, so I wanted something you can whether add to your cream, but also take um, uh, take as it is and apply it to our skin. That's why I created the, the sun drops. And the anti-pollution drops actually I created because um, I was looking into what else is causing inflammation in the, in the skin and really important. And lots of people really don't know that, that pollution is causing a lot of inflammation in our skin and um, hits our skin really hard and not just pollution but also um, the HEV light from our phones we don't really pay much attention to it, and yet we sit in front of our our computers and screens um, the Americans in um, the American um, how, how do you say that um, the American um, how, how do you say that um, to, it sits like nine hours a day in front of the screen um an average average sorry um sometimes um i don't know i don't remember all the words in english sorry um so the, an average sits nine hours in front of screens every day and this light is um, actually quite aggressive to our skin it penetrates quite deep and also um it can actually cause acne psoriasis vitiligo um, inflammation aging photo aging so we cannot overlook this problem. So I created the anti-pollution drops, which targets um, the HEV light coming from the phones, but also the pollution outside. So it creates a shield on the skin. It binds the, the pollutants. It blocks out the light, um, has antioxidants and hyaluronic acid. So I will talk about it a little bit um, more later. So, but that's, I, I really look around what are the causes of inflammation? Where can I help with skincare to get it under control? Why is this also important? Inflammation, my mom always talking about it, and it really comes down to our skin barrier function. I talk about it all the time. Um, maybe you get bored of it, but I have to repeat it again because it's so important, and I want everybody to really respect our skin barriers. Our skin is an organ, needs to be respected, like the liver, like the heart, like everything. You know, we need to um, give it the most to make sure the functions of our skin are really intact because you know there's everything in our body has a reason um for being there and and and, and in order for um you know fulfilling their tasks it really is is uh, mandatory to keep to keep those organs alive and working to their best as possible so you know if um, you have a liver problem you would want to fix it right if you if you have a kidney problem, um, we adjust, you know, our lifestyle to that because we're really scared because our organs, you know, if um, that doesn't work, um, we, we get real problems. But with our skin, we sometimes think, oh, yeah, it doesn't matter. Let's um, do lasers. Let's do acid peels. Let's damage our skin to the grounds. And um, 
and even Retin-A. I mean, Retin-A is um, accelerating the cell turnover and lots of cells get created, new cells get created. They're super sensitive to the sun. They're super um, vulnerable and, you know, they can be damaged so easily and can cause so many problems um, to, 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 to your health just by, by using that. So it's um, mandatory to keep our skin barrier function intact. So what does it mean? A skin barrier is consists out of dead skin cells, a hydrolipid film, and... Um, and um, sebum and um, and the microbiome. So the microbiome is parasites, fungus, um, bacteria, and it's like in our gut. We know in our gut we need to take probiotics to make sure our microbiome is intact. And you know that we carry two kilograms of microbiome with us, and um, that's very surprising. You think, oh, um, bacteria, fungus, parasites. Yeah, this is like part of our organism, and that's why and it's so important for our skin as well in order to keep our skin intact and functioning. And sometimes, you know, if we just go in the chlorine water in the pool, it already affects our skin barrier. If we go and put fragrance on our skin, it affects our skin barrier. If we put um, acid peels, uh, retina, retinol on our skin, it affects our skin barrier. Glycolic affects our skin barrier. Um, high dosage vitamin C affects our skin barrier. So we damage hot water, hot showers affects our skin barrier. Damaging our skin barrier um, has to, it does two things. Number one, our skin barrier is something, it's like a um, fundament on a house. You know, it's very strong, it's very tight, it's very solid. Um, when we age, by the way, our skin barrier already loosens up. We don't have enough growth hormone, growth factors, you know, elasticity gets lost. Um, and, you know, our skin barrier is, is, is kind of um, falling apart in a way. So when we age, we already have that problem. And then what happens is that water can leave skin, the skin, which is bad. Moisture needs to stay in the skin. And bacteria can enter the skin and um, allergens and, and, and anything coming from outside. So we kind of have this flow now in both directions of things. We don't want to have this traveling into these directions. So the skin barrier, you know, especially when we age, we want to uh, make sure we get it as the most robust as as it could be instead of putting these harsh anti-aging ingredients on it. So we should do quite the opposite. And um, when we're young, we don't wanna, you know, why would we, why would we wanna damage a beautiful skin barrier? We don't, you know? And this um, protection tool of our body also um, represents a protection from the stresses from outside, pollution and sun. Obviously, um, sun also, um, is being protected by melanin. So when we are in the sun, which is quite aggressive, you know, we tan and tan is an, an, it's a, a tanning is an inflammatory response from our, from our body. So the skin sends the melanin out um, to the surface in order um, to protect from the sun because we have a natural sun protection, but also it causes inflammation. Also what the sun does, it causes free radicals in our skin, which um, alters the gene material, um, destroys collagen. Um, it's like um, it's like a um, molecule which, which steals um, um, steals ions from other from other molecules, which is um, a problem because it destroys tissue. So these free radicals, everybody heard of it, is something um, we cannot overdo. There's always like an there are always free radicals in our system, but we don't want to. There shouldn't be too many. So when we go in the sun, we create more free radicals. And, you know, we can help our skin with the free radicals by also adding <clears throat> vitamins to our, our skincare routine, like vitamin E and vitamin C. Vitamin E, by the way, is a um, natural, um, a natural sun protection. It's only SPF 3, but it is um, working. It also helps to um, bind free radicals is the same like vitamin C. So vitamins in our skincare routine also um, makes a difference, but also as supplements. Also, if you eat it, there's another ingredient which is, which is amazing. And by the way, all those vitamins um, are in all our products because it's very concentrated in our herb. We use purslane. And purslane is a um, super powerful herbs, extra antioxidant, anti-inflammatory, wound healing. It is rich on omega-3 fatty acids and beta-carotene and is a telomerase activator. But what's really important is this beta-carotene. Beta-carotene also is a pigment which comes in our skin, which helps 
um, from sun protect with sun protection as well. And if you eat a lot of carrots or carrot soup or something, it has a lot of um, carotenes in it, which helps also um, with sun protection in a funny way. So eat a lot of carrots in the summer. Um, so yeah, the sun is also good for us. The sun, um, we need the daylight for our happy hormone, serotonin. Um, we need the sun. Um, I think excluding um, ourselves from daylight can also lead to a lot of depression. Um, it's important, the sun is important for our, our vitamin D production and vitamin D is so necessary. It's, 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 it's important for our immune system, but also it's important for our um, joints and it's also important for our collagen synthesis. Um, and that's really important for tight skin. So we need the sun and then we want to also protect from the sun. Yeah, um, It's like um, we, we need to get um, just enough and we need to protect um, from the stress from the sun. And um, the sun really pre presents 80 to 90% of our visible, um, visible effects of aging. And we have UVA, UVB. So if we um, are looking for sun protection, we need to protect from both. UVA um, is causing wrinkles and um, skin cancers. You won't really see something on the skin with the UVA, but it's really invisible and um, causes um, really big problems. So when you're in an airplane, for example, the UVA can penetrate the windows. So, um, and this causes a lot of problems. So pilots, there's a study that pilots um, are more, um, have more incidence of skin cancer. So you have to, when you're on a plane and it's a day flight and you have the windows up, you have to use sun drops, yeah? Uh, really important. The UVE, uh, UVB is the one um, which doesn't penetrate that deep, but um, creates the sunburn. Yeah, that's the one um, where we see. And then, of course, those um, radiation causes free radicals and um, and and um, you know destroy cellular function and um, damages our collagen and elastin and the collagen structure. It, um, gets bad and there's like a problem with our skin sagging and all the stuff we don't want so the damages on our skin are quite severe and um, um, you can see it in discoloration hyperpigmentation um, uh, loss of elasticity broken capillaries spider veins um, atypical molds um, reddish brown patches, um, thinner and more translucent skin, sagging skin, age spots, chap lips. Oh, by the way, the lips, you know, um, we talk about sunscreen, always protect your lips as well. So what I do, I mix the sun drops with my lip balm. Um, it's really important that, um, that you also protect your lips because your lips is actually very, very sensitive skin. Um, the, the most common skin cancer um, is basal cell carcinoma, as squamous um, cell carcinoma and the melanomas that's the um that's the skin's ca um, cancers which are bad and um so we need to really um make sure the sun um doesn't um damage our skin so how can we do it um sunscreen obviously um big heads sit in the shade don't really go in the sun you know if you're swimming and sweating reapply your sunscreen every two hours um, have a sunscreen which is um, at least 30 um, so so your skin is absolutely protected and um, yeah um, it's always better to not um, sit in the full sun um, although I know many um, many people love it and they love this nice tan and um, and and my kids especially um, Charlie and Alexa they love to bathe in the sun they don't really listen to me because they don't see yet what the sun does to us, okay? So, um, yeah, stay away from, you know, harsh ingredients, protect your skin barrier, keep your skin barrier hydrated. Um, you know, what else do you need to do um, in the summer for your skin? Um, you really need to give it um, the right vitamins, the sun protection. You need to um, check with your skin because um, you're sweating more in summer, so your skin tends to be a little more oily and, um, you know, a little more, um, you know, moist, but you still need to hydrate your skin um, tremendously. Hydration is really the key to functioning skin barriers, okay? Hydration, and um, I created something actually, which is amazing um, to have in the summer month. It's the hydrating face mist, and you keep adding this to your skin. Um, this is something you have with you on the beach, but you also, um, you know, especially now when we are inside and uh, in front of our screens, 
we reapply this for um, a constant hydration, dehydrating face mist. I really, really, really love. Um, by the way, there are medications which um, cause a big photosensitivity, you know. Um, you know, some antibiotics, um, you can or when you take them, you're not allowed to go in the sun or when you um, use um, Accutane or Retin-A, um, stay out of the sun completely. Also, um, treatments, you know, lasers, um, also microneedling, everything in the summer is just um, way more dangerous for the skin because we damage our skin barrier function by doing all those treatments, okay? Um, yeah, also when we um, pop a pimple, this um, creates a lesion in, in the skin. And when we then go in the sun, we tend to get hyperpigmentation, yeah? Um, that's something um, all of us probably notice. I have an hyperpigmentation here and I know exactly where this came from. I injected Botox here and I didn't pay attention and I was out in the sun, didn't protect it enough. And then um, this is basically the injection spot of my Botox. So it's like, you know, you, um, get um you really get your receipt from being not good to your skin and then you have like the trouble with your skin and um need to then make sure um you can get rid of it and you know i created a few lines um really targeting not just hyperpigmentation but also targeting um the stress and the photo aging and we um reassuring that our skin gets everything it needs for also repairing. And I, I want to show you a few products because they are my absolute summer products and absolutely um, must have for the summer. Um, let me put them together. Obviously the sun drops. I love the sun drops so much. They have not just, this is the best um, filter there is. First of all, it doesn't destroy our um, coral reefs. Um, I think that's super important. It's a chemical filter. It's UVA, UVB protection, but it also has ingredients to soothe irritated skin and already um, um, already doing repairing um, the damages of photo aging. So that's a really good one. Um, it also feels just like a skincare. It's not a, you know, ugly sunscreen. Um, that's why people love it so much. Um, it's a beautiful um, sunscreen and I created it to mix it in with your creams or you use it as it is um, just whenever you need it and it's an absolute must-have sunscreen or sun drops for every day. Then um, what I absolutely um, want to um, have you think about, you know, in the, in the summer when our sweat glands produce um, more sweat, um, then it's um, sometimes nice to change your summer routine to the face cream light. Um, that's um, often enough then um, in the humid um, and hot um, summer months, yeah, the face cream light. Um, really important in my skincare routine, especially in the summer, is the super anti-aging serum and the night serum. These two um, are also must have. Number one, the super anti-aging serum is like our hyaluronic serum, but also has glutathione, you know, glutathione and lots of purslane. So purslane, I just told you, is rich on vitamin A, C, E, which is important um, for sun protection, but also important to um, help the photo aging with the free radicals, but also it has, and that's important because the sun doesn't protect you completely. Uh, the sunscreen doesn't, um, protect you completely from the anti, um, from the free radicals. They still get created, you know, you protect your skin, skin um, a lot with the sunscreen, but not from forming free radicals. And if you then have in your skincare routine ingredients, which can um, bind the free radicals, that's the perfect combination. So I always use the super anti-aging serum and the scutathione is amazing because it downregulates the tyrosinase, which, um, starts the acclimation of the yellow and dark spots. So this is really um, one um, product. I use it in, in the morning and in the evening. <clears throat> and then I created the night, <clears throat> night serum, which I love, love, love. My absolute favorite serum of all times. And the night serum not only has <clears throat> cotton thistle extract, which, which helps to um, um, rebuild collagen, but also it has ingredients to repair UV damage from the day. Uh, um, it does have ingredients to strengthen skin barrier function, to fill in fine lines of, and wrinkles, to soothe irritated skin. This is a, such a gem for, <clears throat> for the summer months, for every day, actually. I mean, I use this. I'm addicted to the night serum. Then <clears throat> what I also 
love in the summer is the calming serum, especially when you're outside and when you, you know, play sports and, you know, um, spending some time in the sun. And when you come back and when you're taking your shower and you, you just like, you know, want to do something amazing for your skin to heal, that's the calming serum. It's just an after sun super, super hero. And, um, you know, when people have sunburns, it takes it away right away it's insane this 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 like my house pharmacy a total combination of herbal power power tools to help irritated skin and it's also something when you have rosacea prone skin redness irritation when you want to heal something after laser after waxing after shaving <clears throat> calming serum is a must-have and for me after after the beach a must-have as well the same like our face mask aloe vera kaolin clay by the way if you have aloe vera plants in your garden um, that's also something for after sun or in general, just um, put the aloe vera on. It's amazing. And this face mask is, it's just my everything. And I use it, you know, especially also after sun, put it on, leave it on for 20 minutes. And, and then I rub it off and I get this most glowy, um, hydrated, um, soothed skin and um, super in the summer month. Love it. But I also love it all the time. As I said, the lip balm I mix with the with the sun drops for my lips. Yeah, always use the cleanser, enzyme cleanser. Enzyme cleanser, extremely important also to make sure to exfoliate um, that skin cells. You can use the enzyme cleanser or the facial scrub. Both, both um, super, super gentle and nice hydrating. This one is extremely hydrating. Um, the enzyme cleanser actually has a little bit of vitamin C in it, which is also nice. Um, <clears throat> and you use this is a powder you mix with water, put it on your skin, leave it on for one minute, and then you wash it off. Really nice and absolutely necessary. And here's my anti-pollution drops. That's the screen, um, screen and sun protection. These are the protection tools. And if you go on our website, Molecular Cosmetics, um, this is like, I created this dual like screen and sun protection. And you know, if we think we need sunscreen, then please believe me, we also need um, HEV protection and pollution protection. And <clears throat> it's all light, you know, and the HEV light is the blue light coming from our phones. And this blue light is visible and it um, penetrates our skin quite aggressively. And this anti-pollution drops not only have, has ingredients to block out the pollution because it creates a shield, on the skin to block out the pollutants and also bind the pollutants but it also <clears throat> is a hyaluronic serum it has amazing antioxidants and it has this <clears throat> cacao bean which has polyphenols and these polyphenols create a shield on the skin to block out the HEV light so we are good with sunscreen we just must learn that anti-pollution drops the same important like the sunscreen okay this really belongs together um, to protect from the wavelengths coming from those lights, yeah? Um, I really want everybody to incorporate those into your routine. Then I wanna give you <clears throat> two supplements I really think um, are important also in the summer month. Number one um, is the ad um, adaptogens in the anti-pollution food. Um, it also has vitamin E, which is important um, also as an um, inner sun protection. Um, and it has ginseng to boost our immune system. So really, um, this is a great combination, especially also for the summer month, yeah? Um, and the brightening food actually also has vitamin E. This helps with hyperpigmentation, and um, that's something we all suffer from, you know, more and more caused by the sun, pigmentation. And I created two lines to help with pigmentation. That's the darker skin tone line and the brightening line. And both those lines combined together, not only help with hyperpigmentation, the darker skin tone line also helps with um, anti-inflammation, being antibacterial, anti-aging, obviously. And we created all these bundles for you guys um, on the website. So if you have certain um, <clears throat> skin problems, whatever, um, you just, Look, rosacea prone skin, we put the bundle together for you. So you see which products really work well together. <clears throat> Sorry. <clears throat> and um, what you also already know, um, have a lot of vitamins in your diet throughout um, 
you know, your whole life basically, but also especially in summer, eat a lot of antioxidant food and um, anti-inflammatory food, um, berries, nuts, um, cherries, oranges, have like a really um, healthy, beautiful diet to help your <clears throat> overall health also to protect from the sun from the inside. Let me see if I forgot anything. I would propose maybe we're dialing some of you in. What else is important? SPF, um, it's best to apply 20 minutes before going in the sun. Um, and how the chemical um, SPF works, it absorbs the UV light and transforms it into heat. As I said, they don't cause trouble to the coral reefs, which I think we all like to hear. <clears throat> <clears throat> yeah, let's. <clears throat> I don't know what's what's up with what's up with my throat. Um, should we dial some um, some of you in? Is there anybody who wants to talk to me today? I'm ready for you guys. Alessandra is first. Alessandra. <clears throat> Hi. Hi. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm good. I don't see you. Oh, yeah, now I see you. Hi. Okay. Hi. Yeah, so I have um, two questions. The first one is how to reduce inflammation since I've got eczema. Um, so it kind of tends to flare up, especially in the summer months. And the second one is how to prevent being overdue or maybe even like kind of looking sweaty um during the summer months because every time i use an spf it makes my skin look way too greasy but i cannot use a mattifying spf because then my skin is really dry so i don't i haven't found anything that works for me yes have you tried the sun drops no i haven't i want to try them <clears throat> that's really great and if you know what <clears throat> i don't know what's wrong with my phone <clears throat> what i love to do actually i whether um drop it into my cream or I also mix it with my Harlanix serum and then you make it like this super nice serum just a drop of the Harlanix serum I'll show you here and a drop of the sun drops and then you mix it you see you mix it and then it's so nice okay. and you know when you mix when you mix the sun drops with the serum, you don't have SPF 50 anymore. You go down to maybe SPF 30, but that's fine. It's all, you need oh, SPF okay. 30, you don't really need more, yeah? Um, it's really important, and that's why it's so important that you have a consistency which goes nicely into your skin. It's really important that you apply it everywhere else, on your ears, in the back of the neck, and you know, that you're very good in applying and reapplying the sunscreen, yeah? So this would be something um, for you, you would love, um, because I never look, it's all, it's all in, yeah, it, that looks mm, it doesn't stick, it's, it's glowy, you know, it's really nice. Um, <clears throat> I think that's a really good one for you. With your eczema, um, you know, I want you to try um, the body cream for kids. Let me see where it is, I show you. Can you give me the body cream for kids? It's so good. I have so many children, um, not me, but my, my friends and patients, they have so many children seen, um, getting rid of eczema with the body cream. Okay. Try that, it's so good, yeah? Um, and with eczema, you have to be careful because it can, um, can be um, flaring up when you, you know, it could be with the detergents or any kinds of ingredients. And this is like the most clean, the cleanest of the I, cleanest products, yeah? I always make sure I really research what is in everything I buy. Yeah. Because, and I stay away from anything fragrance because everything is it makes my eczema's flare yeah. up like detergents everything like I, know, I, I know i change something and then my skin is like horrible and i'm like okay great <laughs> yeah no it's it's really um you have like a super um sensitive skin and um what you know i'm working on so many products right now because i personally in my life i don't want to deal with any any ingredients anymore which are like bad for my system and and that's why, you know, I don't have everything yet. I can, you know, I still have to have certain products in, in you know, in my bathroom, which are not made by Sturm. So I, I'm, I'm working on everything Sturm now so I can, you know, provide 
um, for my family, for my patients, for myself, um, everything myself with the cleanest ingredients, you know, and I'm, I'm testing so many products. And when the testers are empty, I already, I'm so annoyed because I got so used to these like pure ingredients, you know? <laughs> yeah. One thing that I bought is the uh, repair food. Is so good. Gonna, is that going to help me with my eczema? I mainly bought it for that because I just... So take two a day. Know. It helps. It's like, um, it's, there's um, not just zinc, but there's zinc in it. There is like sage, thyme, um, rosemary, extra anti-inflammatory purslane, of course. So I don't know if it will help you with your eczema, but it's definitely ingredients which should help with inflammation, should help yeah. with skin condition, should help for sure. So um, it's, it's, it's a super powerful combination. Um, eczema is something coming also from the genetics. So, and then yeah. hypersensitive skin. So, you know, I, I really would like you to try the body cream for kids. Yeah, I'm definitely putting that on my list and the <laughs> sun drops because they, they look amazing. Thank you. Yeah, no, you'll love this. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. So nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Happy too. weekend. You too. Bye. Bye. Hi, Dr. Hi, Sir. Ashley. How are Hi, you? How are you? I'm good. Um, my question is, is I have melasma. Um, that mostly comes out during like the summer when I'm out in the sun and all of the research that I've done is um, like been like chemical peels and stuff like that. But as soon as I go back out in the sun, it comes back. Oh, of course. If you don't, so, I mean, it, 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 it makes it worse. Yeah. It makes it worse. What don't do it. Okay. <laughs> um, do you have any recommendations for trying to get rid of the, the dark spots? What do you do right now? What do you do right now for it? I'm using mostly all of your um, clarifying line. Yes. Um, and that's been great. I started that like two weeks ago, but I'm not really doing anything else for the, the spot specifically. Yeah. So, so anything like, you know, high dosage vitamin C or retin-A, retin-O, are you using that? No, I stopped. I'm only using your okay. line now. <laughs> okay, good, 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 good. So because we want to keep your skin in the best shape possible. So, mm -hmm. and once your skin barrier function are strong, you know, we can um, go in with ingredient science and help with the, um, you know, pigmentation issue. And uh, the pigmentation, um, you know, situation, I really would, for the, for the clarifying, do you have, which cleanser do you have? The darker skin tone one? Uh, no, I have the, um, I, I think I just have the, the regular one. Okay. So, Use the cleanser, the enzyme cleanser twice a week, if you have okay. the enzyme cleanser, yeah. And then um, you have a hyaluronic serum or you have the clarifying serum? I have the clarifying serum. Okay, so maybe what we should do then, um, just add to your routine the, the brightening serum. Okay. The brightening serum, the brightening food is amazing. Okay. Two, two pills a day. And then, um, do you break out a lot right now? Yes. Okay, so maybe the brightening serum and the brightening food is already good, yeah? If you, the next time you um, get a cleanser, get the darker skin tone line. Okay. Yeah, also the hyaluronic serum, if you get a hyaluronic serum, do the darker skin tone line because it has, it has Lumicol to even out the skin tone. And the brightening, the brightening system has ingredients to break down the, um, the, the, the pigmentation. So that's why the brightening food, the brightening serum is amazing. Um, and then, yeah, maybe, maybe that's, you start with that. And then um, the sun drops, do you have the sun drops? Mm -hmm. Good, 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 good. So um, if your breakouts are better, maybe you want to switch to the brightening cream or the um, darker skin tone cream. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you would maybe um, have one of those. But um, for now, add the brightening serum. Okay. Great. Thank you so much. Yeah. Yeah, it. keep keep us posted. Keep in touch. If you have more questions, we're always there. Okay, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Happy weekend. You too. Thank you. Hi, Dr. Strom. Hi, Christina. How are you? How are you? I'm well, thank you. How are you? Good. Where are you? I'm from Toronto, Canada. Oh, I love Toronto. It's so beautiful. Thank you very much. We love it too. <laughs> So my question to you is in regards to the SPF, so which I yes. absolutely love. Your sun drops are amazing. So for anyone who doesn't have it, they're incredible. Um, my question is, I don't like in the summer when I'm home, I'm not wearing any makeup, obviously. 
but when I do uh, return to work, I like to wear tinted moisturizer. Would I wear the SPF drops on top of the uh, tinted moisturizer or underneath? So that really um, depends on your moisturizer because, you know, with my products, I can say, you know, they really dis disappear and dissolve into your skin. So that's really important. Right. And um, with a tinted moisturizer, I probably would put the sun drops before just to make okay. sure that they really disappear into your skin. Um, okay. You have to try it out. I mean, if it works, it just is important that the sun drops disappear into the skin because that's when they okay. really work, you know? If it just sits on the skin on top of a moisturizer, that's not good. So okay. um, I always use it as last, but if you, um, but that, that's because my cream is really good and penetrates in, 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 in the skin. Right. Um, you really have to try it out. If, um, if it does still, nicely penetrates then then you're right. good you know okay so but then if i have to reapply like if for example if i'm out for the whole day uh i would okay i would start with the spf uh, underneath and then the tinted moisturizer but then it would then i would just put it on top afterwards yes, obviously yes, yes, and yes. then hopefully i'll get enough coverage that way yes yes okay. you, you always um think about you know is it really in or does it sit on top you know, if it okay. only sits on top, the protection is not that um, same, you know? And when you say sit on top, do you mean it's just not absorbing into the skin? Yeah, like, okay, I'll be able to exactly. It? Yes, exactly. Okay. It's really okay. important that it absorbs. And in terms of like full body, uh, is that something you would add into a cream? Like, could you put your sun drops in a cream and put yeah, on your put body? Yeah, I put the really... sun drops in my body cream. Okay, and like how, like, you're, are you putting a good amount just like in terms of ratio or, or whatever? Like, how much would you put in, like, to give your, you know, half, like, if you're half. putting it you through this? Do half, 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 half. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you but very I'm much. I'm on a body sunscreen, so. Um, oh, excellent. I'm, I'm doing it. <laughs> All right. Look forward to it. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Hi to Toronto. Thank you. <laughs> bye bye. Bye. Hi. How are you? Good. How are you? I met you in Austin last year at the Goop event. Oh, yeah. This was so fun. I know. I love so, Austin. Yeah. Um, I had a question about all the crazy tools people are using on their faces. So you have like gua sha and then the derma roller. And then you have those big ones that have like rollers and they seem pretty aggressive. And I wondered what your thoughts were, if that's good to use on your face or not. Aggressive is never a good word for your skin. So if you think something is aggressive, um, don't use it. There are so many machines and stuff out there. It's really confusing. Um, if you want to use a derma roller, um, we recommend to use a derma roller um, or 0.25, you know, at home that doesn't damage your skin and um, really helps with, um, you know, stimulation of collagen and growth factors the same time really doesn't cause much inflammation if you do it in combination with the hyaluronic serum but okay. really stay stay very superficial with a very short needle you know if you go deep 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 you really damage cause a lot of inflammation so yeah aggressiveness is never really good especially okay. you know not just in the summer months but especially then so everything from laser over um i mean there's so much stuff out there you know um, which is quite yeah, I was just noticing that um, since I've been stuck at home, I've been watching a lot of skincare. Um, yes. Yeah. And there's just so many of these devices people are using on their faces. And I don't know if I need to get one. Am I missing out on something or, <laughs> or people are just destroying their faces? Exactly. So everything which hurts, you know, pain is never a good sign, yeah. you know, because it always is a sign from the body to stop whatever you're doing. So stay away from all those aggressive peels and glycolic and retin-A and all this kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. um, lasers, stay away. Do really only like superficial uh, microneedling if you want. I think radio frequency, radio frequency is nice. Um, I've done that, you know, radio frequency. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's quite nice. Uh, massaging, you know, all these massage tools. You know, the roller from Jonah Check or, you know, stuff like that is, you know, or jade rollers and jade stones to massage your face. Always nice. Should you put some sort of oil on first before you use those tools? Um, you can do it with your face cream together. I wouldn't go for pure oils because oils often clog your pores okay. and make you break out. 
you know, I'm not a big fan of face oils. Okay. <laughs> it's maybe do it with your moisturizer. Sure. sure. Or sometimes with the hyaluronic serum is also nice. Yeah, yeah, I have that. I have that. Yeah. Thank you. Is it hot in Austin? Yes, it's unbearable, but we're all inside. But everything is open again in Texas, no? We just kind of opened, um, but you know, everyone's wearing the mask and um, the bars are finally open. The plants place is open this week, so I can actually do my gardening. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, it's been crazy here, but. Oh. Yeah, I hope this will all be over soon and yeah. we can go back to our lives. <laughs> More normal new, right? Yes, the normal new. Normal Do your new. mask. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What's up with the mask? Do you have to? Do you have? Do you get like rashes from the from wearing the um, the mask outside? Not yet. Um, I only wear it where it's required. Um, yes. Both, both of my kids actually had the COVID, so I already had the antibodies. So yeah. I'm not worried about me getting anything. But um, just there's places that require to use the mask. And yeah, if you don't wash yeah. it, I guess it's just dirty bacteria, right? Yes. And it really like um, lots of people get really irritated skin and breakouts and redness irritation. So I always make sure it's really moisturized and the calming serum really helps with the face mask, you know, put like, lots of calming serum underneath. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Happy weekend to you. <laughs> Aha, it's you again. <laughs> <laughs> we have to stop meeting like this. It's crazy. <laughs> uh, I'm so sorry. You're probably very sick of me, but I have... Uh, no, I'm not sick of you. I just find it funny. <laughs> <laughs> I got all the master classes. I'm, I'm, I'm... I love it. And who's your cat? What's her... Oh, this is, uh, this is Fig. She's trying to... She's mad because she didn't get wet food this morning. I only had dry food. <laughs> <laughs> she's trying to play with her little her little ball she's, she's a handful, but i love her um <laughs> keeping us sane during all of this yes um so yes hi, hi. <laughs> uh, my question is um for the summer months uh i get i feel like my skin's really combination i'll get um uh, more oily during the summer. I was curious uh, if you thought the brightening face lotion would be better or the yes. uh, it's cream and light. I wasn't the sure. Lotion. The lotion. Oh, it depends. You know, if you want the brightening face lotion is really nice because it's very thin, but at um, the same time also helps with um, brightening your skin and helping with hyperpigmentation. And the face cream light is just like a super nice lightweight formula um, face cream. So you could do both. I mean, one or the other. Okay. Cool. Yeah, I was just curious um, which one uh, consistency you felt was uh, the lotion's probably a little more light than the cream. Yes, yes. The lotion is a little more lighter, although this is quite light. I mean, I don't know if you see that. It's oh. the light face cream. It looks so good. <laughs> yeah, but we also can send you a sample, you know, to um, email service at Dr. Sturm, and um, we sent you the sample. It's little sachet, so you can try what's better for you. Oh, perfect. Amazing. Yeah. I, Sometimes this helps because we have so many face creams and it's really, um, they sh should send you a bunch of different face creams so you can um, figure it out. Yeah, I love, I love that because I haven't tried um, the brightening lotion or brightening face cream or the light. Only three I haven't uh, had a chance to try yet. So I'm, I'm going to definitely do that. Thank you. Cool. Can you hear me? <laughs> Is it okay? Yes. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I hear you. Okay. I hear you. I hear you. Any other question? Um, uh, let me think. Oh, I was actually curious. Uh, uh, what is your opinion on the ingredient ceramides? I don't know um, if, if it's a good ingredient. It's a really good ingredient. Um, it's not what we are focusing, but it's um, definitely good. Cool. And then any uh, any new products in the pipeline that you're allowed to yes, tease? Yes, lots. Lots. You will love it. You will love it. Can I talk too much about it? Because um, then everybody's getting mad at me because I like to spill everything. Um, so I have to keep my mouth. It's exciting. It's, it's, it's cool. I, I know. Mean, yeah. I yes. It. There's so much coming. You guys will love it. Yeah. Good stuff. Also good um, super anti-aging stuff. Oh. Uh, 
Nice. I'm excited. I love it. Oh, I also, I went to the, uh, really, sorry, I went to the, um, I went to your uh, Botox and filler masterclass. Yeah. And then I actually, I ended up getting, um, I went to a clinic and they, and they helped with my forehead because where yes. I had a problem with like my brows were just oh, good. Like, bagging. Yeah, stuff. good. And it's, uh, the, the, the tips that, the, the tip that you gave me. Did you me tell was, them? Did you tell them what to do? Oh How? yeah. I said I, I, I explained that like because they and they are they also understood that you know the different muscle groups and how yes. different ones <laughs> pull down, and so um, yeah, I was like really specific and said like I, th I think that this is what I need, and they were like were yeah. they surprised that you knew all of that? They were. They they were like interesting. Like this isn't something that people normally have like people just like you know they they see the, the the deal and they're like okay i'm gonna go and get my botox and i'm gonna get you know whatever yeah. the doctor says but i feel like since it's so personal like i feel like you need to kind of you need to understand you need to be your own doctor in many ways you know you need to understand it yourself and then you you know what you're talking about and then you can express your your wishes much better otherwise you get botox and then you think oh shit what i have I done you know my eyebrows are low or something you know and you can't i can't smile anymore whatever you know it's good that you know what you're talking about exactly and that happened to me where i went and i got a cookie cutter botox and uh and my brows went so low and yes i was just like so now it looks great it does look great. <laughs> well, thank thank you for I mean all of these master classes, all of these everything. It's it's very informative and this makes me really happy that something good comes out of that. <laughs> yeah, of course, yes. Love thank to you. Hear. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> good thank to you. see you. <laughs> you too. Bye. 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 <laughs> That's so great. I love this. Julia. Julia. Everybody becoming becoming such an expert. Hi. Hi. We get her you. Last week. I'm good, thank you. <laughs> we met last week as part of anti-aging, but I was very much looking forward to this because this is what happens to me in the summer. It's yes. super itchy and it's very hot. Um, and I don't know if you can tell, I just got your package yesterday, my first yes. product. So my face, I think, is looking a lot better. But this started happening yesterday morning, and I'm not too did sure. Did you go in the sun? Did you go in the sun? I was outside for a bit, but only late in the day. So I, you know, lots of people are photosensitive. You know, yeah. they just have like sun allergy, and they get like these um, small red patches everywhere. You know, like little dots. Yeah. And 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 you know, um, there are some. I think you can have like calcium. You know, do, do, do you have calcium in your, in your diet or in your supplements? Um, I this is something which helps. Like that would help, you're saying? Yeah, this would help. But um, it's really like, you know, you have to really be careful with the sun, you know, because you're super, super sensitive. Are you on a certain medication that sometimes can, can start it? No, 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 no. Do you always have this happen in the summer? For always. Years. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, after at least 25 years that I can. Yeah. yeah. There's like a... Um, I need to um, check again, but there's like something um, we inject in Germany. It's called human something. Um, I will find out for you. Yeah. Okay. Um, let's, you know, they have your e email. So let's, um, I, I will give you specifics on what to sure. take because this sometimes can help with the photosensitivity. I, I find that it's worse when, uh, when I am by the sea, like I'm in yeah. trouble as well. I'm, I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you sea. have like a, um, like a swim t-shirt or something, you know, that you can hide from but the yeah, sun? But Does yeah. it still happen? It's, it still happens now, but like yeah. it's particularly like, I remember being in the Mediterranean and then it was like blisters. It was- Yes, it was yes, 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 yes. Um, but here, like, you know, just day to day in the summer, I find that it happens all the time. I also find that not every sunscreen works well for me. So I'm very excited about trying the sun drops to see if it's going to, mm -hmm. to do the trick so that it doesn't start. But then also when something like this happens, I'm just trying to get it. You have the calming serum, the calming I serum. Do. I do. I just got that as well. Yeah, yesterday. try that. Try that on that. That should help. Okay. Okay. And I was wondering, uh, I think it was Nick. And also the repair food. Um, okay. The repair food okay. also should help with that. Okay. Yeah. And, and I was wondering, Nick was talking about uh, a couple of the previous sessions. I only found you a couple of weeks ago. 
So are you going to be repeating some of the master classes, like say Botox and filler? Is this on YouTube, Chloe, the master classes? Are they on YouTube? Okay, let's, let's see. Um, yeah. yeah, I think they're on YouTube. Go okay. on the YouTube channel. Okay. Yeah, see if they're there. I'm not really sure, but I think they should be there. Michael, are the master classes on YouTube? They are. We're uploading them one by one, so stay tuned. Okay, okay good. good. So you will have access to all the information, okay? Great. <laughs> I have a question, if you don't mind. I got a sample of your face cream, and I found found it to be a little bit rich for my skin. Yeah. What, what uh, cream should I order? Then do the face cream light here. Okay. This okay. one. Okay. Face okay. cream light. It's amazing. It's a super beautiful, lightweight formula, and um, this is perfect, especially also for the summer months. Okay, great. Thank you so much for your time. Good to see you again. You too. <laughs> see you soon. Bye. See you soon. Bye. Amy. By the way, guys, the Glow Drops, also a super summer product. Also great for refining pores, brightening skin, for freshness in between. I always love to throw on the Glow Drops in between. It's my everything. everything. Glow Drops. Hi. Oh, Hi. Hi. Thank you. Um, How are you? Just putting yeah. on some glow drops. Of course. Thank you. <laughs> um, <laughs> I was just curious. Your skin I, looks great. Oh, thank you. I just started using some of your products. Um, I, I, I was hoping it's my products. <laughs> of course. I'm a huge fan. I'm a huge fan of Sakaar too. So um, very exciting. Um, and I was just curious. I very much have combination skin. I'll, I'll get oily in the T-zone um, and dry out, but I've also just had previous acne scars um, and just a little bit of uneven skin tone, but I don't have hyperpigmentation. So would you recommend the darker skin tone line? Or yes, the, regular? Okay. The, the darker skin tone for sure. It's okay. so good because it helps with you know inflammation, it's antibacterial, it evens out the skin tone. It's exactly what you want. And what it's do you perfect. Think it's, it's hydrating as the regular. It's hydra It's super okay. hydrating, okay. but it's also good for oily skin. The only okay. thing which can happen, maybe for your um, dry zones, you yeah. know, it won't be rich enough. So maybe you have like a um, different face cream for maybe the normal face cream for for the for these um, areas. You know. Okay. And would you recommend not using any ascorbic or vitamin C um, or any retinol on your skin? Well? For skin, yeah. Would you say that's too under five percent concentration? Okay. It's great under five percent. Don't go high in concentration. Okay, that's not good. And then the only other question was also a big fan of Sakar, and I just get a little overwhelmed with all of your supplements as well as the different supplements that Sakar offers. Is there one that you would recommend in terms of food supplements? What I love is the um, skin food. That's what I take every day. It's for firming the skin, hydration, inhydration, anti-inflammation, telomerase activation. This one you've got to have. Okay. This one, it's um, a must have for everybody. I mean, skin okay. food is, you know, if you believe in all the ingredient science for the skincare, yeah. you know, then you want this for every cell in your body and that's okay. right here. And you can take that in addition to taking the foundation yes. pack as well. Yes. Okay. Yes, awesome. yes, yes, yes. Cool, that was all I had. Oh. Well, thank you very much, I appreciate it. You look fantastic. I'm really excited about your skin. <laughs> I'm excited. To, I just started ordering your products, so I'm very excited. Thank you. Amazing. Was there any <laughs> serum you would specifically recommend? Yeah. Any specific um, serum? What, which serum? Uh, you know, what I would recommend you is the super anti-aging serum. The super okay. anti-aging serum and maybe also the night serum. These are my, I mean, like okay. right now. Pepper. Okay, Why? perfect. They're, they're my favorite right now. Them. I've been using the hi hi. I'm using the hyaluronic acid, which I love. So yes, I'll so, add those yes, two. exactly. But you know, the super anti-aging serum is the hyaluronic um, serum with glutathione and extra purslane, so it's a little more potent. You know, perfect. Okay. And this one is also hyaluronic serum. It's great. Perfect. Awesome. Well, you I can will add also them. you can you know you can add them up and they go into your skin and it's just like oh, I love them. <laughs> Amazing. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Good to see you. Good to see you. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Hi. Hi. Hi, how are you? Good. How are you? Good, thank you. I'm really good. Where um, are I you? I was just wondering. Sorry? Where are you in London? Um, no, I'm in the countryside in England. Which is... Oh, nice. So beautiful. Yeah, I was just wondering, because um, I've been here for three months now, and I haven't been wearing makeup. I've been really taking care of my skin, and obviously country air. 
Um, what's the best thing for kind of a summer in London? Because I'll go back to work, what? I'll be in the city. What's the best thing going back to work to do what? Yeah. I, sorry, I, I missed that. My, my so kids best thing for my home. skin to kind of look after it when I'm back in London, back in the city. So um, what you add in London, back in the city, and I, I, I'm sure pollution in, in, in um, London is much better now as well. Um, but I want you to, do you have the anti-pollution drops? Yeah, I have a mini one, so I need to get a bigger yeah, one. Yeah, good. Always have that, you know. Okay. And um, when you come home from work, just wash your skin right away. Don't wait, don't wait until um, it's evening. You know, do a routine when you come from the streets and go home and just wash your hands and do your skin routine. If you can, you know, wash your skin and wash the pollution off because pollution can cause irritations, breakouts, acne, you know, yeah, so lots I of inflammation. So, like, it's been amazing being in the country and, you know, not wearing oh, it's so up. nice, right? Yeah, so it's got a lot better, but I'm just worried that when I get back I just, to London... And, but you know, it's, it's so interesting, you know, you exclude yourself from pollution, you exclude yourself from makeup yeah. and all this bullshit on your skin, you know? And then mm -hmm. all of a sudden, wow, you know? Yeah, my acne just like completely gone yes. down. Yes, is this crazy? So, but I'm is just so crazy? scared I'm gonna go back to London and just, it'll get bad, so I just But, but that's why, that's why. Take good care of your skin, wash off pollution, and um, always wear that, really always wear that, because your acne can be a result from pollution, you know? And yeah. from the screens and everything. I'm so, I'm so happy you're saying that, because it's really, just by excluding ourselves from irritators, inflammation causing problems like makeup and pollution and stress, you know, this already yeah. helps so much with your skin. This yeah, is amazing. it's been amazing. Like I was so shocked. My mum was always like, Molly, you're wearing too much makeup. This is a problem. Yeah, and I was, like, that is a problem. Here. You know, you have one yeah. you you put your whole face full of makeup yeah, and you make exactly. it worse. So no more makeup for you, okay? I know, I'm gonna try my best. I actually wanted Don't to ask you, um, for the clarifying spot treatment, do you know yes. what? I don't know if you can tell now, but what color should I be going for? Um, you're a little tanned now, right? Yeah, I, I, yeah, I'm wearing fake tan. But are you my skin color, or are you a little more olive? Probably your skin color, I think. I, I, I used the one. Let me see. I have the one here. I used the one. Where's the two and the three? Um, Chloe, can you check? I want to show her because these are all a little darker. I'll show you the one. Oh no, that's the four. I need one, two, three. It's um, it's in this bathroom. One, two, three. One, two, three. The 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 um, spot treatment shades. I I use the one. Um. But 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 the two is just a slightly a bit darker. Okay. I, I don't know. Maybe when you're ten. Turn on my face because I'm super pale. Maybe you do, do. Maybe you do one and two, and you can even mix them. You know. Oh yeah, that's a good point. And then depending on what day. Yes. And this here, this is wait, with this this is three. This is three. Do you have the one, Chloe? You see that's the three. Look. My hand is even a little tanned. So that's the three. Okay, that's probably quite dark then for me. Hairbrush? No. Cook my in clan bad here. Okay. That's the three. Actually you know, look, my, my hand is a little tent from playing tennis. It's almost, wait, wait, that's the three. Let's do, let's do this. Here's the one. That's the one. So maybe I'd be the two then, probably in the middle of them. Both. Where's the two? Do we have the two coins? I want to show you the two. Right, I, can always, <laughs> I can always gasp a bit, but... um. Yeah, because the, the, I think the three is a little more olive and the two is a little more reddish. That's why it's like, what do I know about colors? I don't know what I'm talking <laughs> about. I don't know anything about colors. But maybe the, the one is too light for you. Yeah, probably I'll go for the two then. Yeah, maybe the two. I think the two is good. Okay. Yeah? But really, please stay away from makeup. You don't need it. You know, sometimes know it's so nice if you show, if your skin is beautiful, show your skin and do a little your eye makeup and a little contouring yeah. or something. And then you're done. You do little eyebrows. I, know, I mean, before, literally, like in the beginning of March, I was putting so much makeup on. So it's changed yeah, my Yeah, don't. Life. It's so, this is so typish, typical English, you know. <laughs> <laughs> they all love makeup. Yeah, definitely. Oh yeah, you see that's the that's the two. Yeah, that's probably good. Yeah, I think that's yeah. good. I think that's yeah. 
Okay, cool. I'll go for Try that Try the two. Oh, you will love the spot treatment. So good. And then you can cover the little spots and they heal and they just go away at yeah, the same I time. I ordered the untinted one like two days ago. So I've got that one yeah. away. <laughs> yeah, because they're good for overnight. Yeah. And it's better than, that's better than um, aggressively going after your, your, your pimples and p popping and all this kind of stuff. Yeah, Stay away. Do the, do the treatment. <laughs> so I was on, um, on Limacycline. It's like an antibiotic. But yes. I've come to that, so it's been interesting to see how my skin's reacted. Um, yeah, so stay so good to your skin. Ago, so I think that's obviously... When how are you going, going back to London? I'm going back next Sunday, so soon. Okay, okay, so I might see you in London at one point. <laughs> <laughs> Love that. Cool. Okay, um, well, good to see you. Yeah, it was lovely to chat. Yes. Um, and yeah. I will yeah. get my treatment and everything. Keep us posted. No more makeup. I'll try. I'll try. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, bye. 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 Oh. 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 Okay, hello. Carolina. Carolina. Here, Pepper. Tomorrow. Wanna go tomorrow instead? I will ask them, okay? I think I'm going to go today. Hello. Hi, how are you? <laughs> I'm good, I'm back. I see you. <laughs> I'm going to start charging for uh, translating, honestly. <laughs> uh, so you come back for another friend? You come back for another friend? Yes, actually for my godson, like he's one month old Aww. yeah he's so cute yeah. he's so gorgeous but the thing is that well he needs sun well they 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 like, put him in the sun a little bit but he has extremely dry face like he has been ha i mean i know it's very yeah. common for babies to have like those that kind yes of, yes but yes. he's just extremely dry and you can see like you know, when you say that it has a little like pimples, they look like that. Yes. So I don't know. I was like, did they go to, um, did the doctor say what, what it is? No, it was just like, he has super dry skin. Oh, okay. Pepper, Pepper, can you bring your face to me, please? I need your help. Can you bring the face to me? Okay. We will, we will decide this right after. I need your face cream, Pepper. I'm sorry, Okay, we don't need to go. Can you, can you get your face cream, Pepper? Um, so the kid's face cream actually is amazing um, for super dry skin because when Pepper was a baby, um, she sometimes had super dry legs. So that's when I used them, her moisturizer, the body cream and the face cream. And it always heated up everything regarding her skin you know even you know sometimes you know when the skin is dry or they come from the chlorine water from the pool you know and you see their face getting red the the, the face cream just calms it down and makes it super soft beautiful and hydrated you know and i think that's what you need you don't don't need oily um but hydration so this one is really amazing the face even if he's one month old that's that yeah. that was my concern. That, that's even what i created that's what i created for pepper when she was a baby you know okay body cream and face cream i also have a nappy cream we have a um bathing milk and a shower yeah i bought him the bathing milk yeah so yeah I it's do. so good but you also you know tell your um friend to put the baby in um a she should do a milk bath you know put a bath put a gallon of milk in and a drop of almond oil okay almond oil yeah it's really awesome. good for the kids awesome and now i have a question for myself <laughs> okay i i haven't been wearing makeup during the quarantine or anything and my skin has been very nice very good and here we don't have a lot of sun like in this time of year though it's very rainy, so that helps. But a couple of days ago, I used like a little concealer and stuff, and I got very red. Like I had like, it was like super dry and it hurt when I took it away. I was like, yeah. what should I use for that kind of thing? Cause I've been using- Calming the serum, the calming serum. Calming serum? Calming serum, yeah. Okay. And another question. 
Once I, I would like to add the brightening uh, face lotion. Can I alternate it with the clarifying line or how yeah. often should I alternate it or oh, it just matter? You take the clarifying line when you need it, when you feel like you're breaking out or you're, you know, you, you use that during the days and your months, whatever, you know, whenever you feel you're breaking out, use some clarifying line. And other than this, you use the other products, you know? Okay, so it doesn't matter when. Awesome. Then that was all I good needed. Good to see you. <laughs> it's so good to see you too. Thank you so much for doing this. Yeah, and... it's fun. It's fun. I, I, I love doing it. Um, thank you. Happy weekend. Well, thanks to you too. Yes. We have a long weekend. It's a... Uh... Yes. So it's amazing. Thank you so much. Good have to a great see you. Good to see you too. Bye. Bye. Yeah, bye to everyone. Everyone have a good weekend. Tomorrow, um, I'm doing a live, I think, tomorrow. And um, give us some feedback to whatever you want to learn, what we should talk specifically about, and um, keep asking your question. I'm sending you so much love. Stay safe and healthy and um, um, enjoy any anti-inflammatory moment you can catch. Bye, everybody.